If you're using Zoom webinar, a great feature is polling, so you can ask your attendees questions. So you could ask them things just to survey them to find out what they want to know, or maybe you want some information from them perhaps for the next webinar or what you are going to do in this webinar. So it's really easy to use. It's great for engagement. So when you're doing a Zoom webinar, people are sitting in front of their computers, easily distracted. And by polling, you can actually keep them a little bit more engaged. So as a teacher, or if you're just giving a lesson, this can be really, really useful. So how does it work? Well, I'm here on the Zoom website. I'm in my account here, and I have got webinars down the side, which I've clicked on, and I've got two webinars here. So this virtual photography workshop, I'm going to add some into here. All I've got to do is click on it, then I just scroll down and over here you'll see it says polls. So I'm going to click on that. And in here you'll see on the first one it says add. By the way, if you're in Zoom and you click on polls in there to add a question, it will take you here to the website anyway. So you may as well start in here. So click on add and you get your first question. So for my workshop, I want to know what equipment they've got. I want to know whether they've got a camera and perhaps a flash as well. So I'm going to ask, what camera brand do you have? And it's single choice as opposed to multiple choice. We'll get onto multiple choice in just a moment. So I'm gonna put in here Canon, Nikon. I'm probably not gonna remember all of them here. And let's just put in Olympus and Panasonic and you can see here it says 255 characters so I have not used many and I'm just going to include smartphone and other. When I do other it doesn't give the option to type in what the other is but then you could potentially ask and then get your attendees to tell you. So that's one question. By the way, at the top here, you can tick anonymous so you don't know who actually asked the question. You could tell them that, that the questions are actually anonymous or the answers are anonymous. If I had another question, I could ask if they've got a speed light or a flash. Oops. Do you have a flash slash speed lights? And that's just going to be a simple yes. No, you can see all the autocorrect is fixing my things for me. And I'm going to click on save. And then on the site here, you can see it's got equipment. So if I now go to add again, I, by the way, I can come back and edit and fill that in. And obviously I've got a delete here as well. So let's click on add. What I want to know is type of photography. And they may have more than one. So in here, I'm going to do multiple choice. And I'm going to say, what type of photography? OK, so let's put a few in. Obviously, this is not a comprehensive list as before. Um, just do those so they can choose more than one. Again, I could add another question here. So let's hit Save. So I can open the webinar in Zoom, or I could just click on Join Now. So I'm just going to do that, and it will open up Zoom for me anyway. So let's just click on Allow. There should be a couple of attendees in there, so we can do this. So now we're good to go, and you can see down the bottom here, it's got polling. So if I'm in the middle of my webinar, or right at the beginning, or wherever, I can just click on Polling. You can see I've got poll one, equipment, poll two, type of photography, and I can choose either one of them. So let's go with the equipment. And if I've got some panelists, I could allow them to vote as well. I don't have any other panelists except for me and I'm the host. I can't vote. So let's click on launch poll. And then what happens is it comes up on their computer or on their device. And I've got two people on there and it says at the top here, Attendees are now viewing questions, zero of two. How many have voted? It tells me how long it's been on there, so you might decide to give it however long. So let's just see what they all say. 
and if they do that and then they get the next question which is the speed light so if they submit them I can see one of two has voted and the submit goes on the other one I'm actually doing both others so I can see here what camera brand do they have they've got two there's two cannons one has a speed light and one doesn't so if I choose end poll so that's now done I can now share the results so I can click on share results and then that will pop up on their screens so if I do that so if they had it on a device you could see that they could see that as well I can stop sharing it I could relaunch it so that would get rid of the existing poll results and they can then do that again but we don't have to do that so let's click on close I can then come out of my poll and now I could go to the next poll so I can go polling I can go to the type of photography and if I had launched the poll again I'm not going to get the panelists to vote because there aren't any launch the poll and then on here they can choose more than one and when they submit I then can get an idea of the things that they like again I can end the poll and I could share the results as well I could once again I could relaunch it so that's how it works in zoom but wait a second back on the website it's actually kept a record of the actual results so I can see here that in this poll here in the equipment there are two results if I refresh the page go back to my polls and I can see here I've got an archive I know the answers to the questions which can be really handy for me to go back later look at what people are interested in and then I can address what I want to do in the next webinar or the next lesson so that's how you do polls really useful tool for you to have if you're using zoom webinar this works in the webinars this is not something for the meetings so thanks for watching if you want to know more do subscribe below I've got lots of videos lots more tips on how to use zoom how to join them how to create one how to use the green screen and virtual backgrounds as I said don't forget to subscribe below and see you soon